Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a little fun video for you today. I have a very small Dollar Tree haul. Uh, my stores just don't have a lot of stuff right now that I want to pick up. And I have um, a visit to the Columbus Coffee Festival. I took some footage and I want to share that with you. And there might even be some bonus footage in there from the Buckeye football game. Who knows? But we will start with the Dollar Tree haul. It's very small. I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, I know staffing issues is always the issue or staffing concerns. Um, so I'm not definitely trying to dog my stores. They work very hard. I, I want to show that last. They work very hard, you know, to get things out on the floor. So I'm just waiting and see what happens. All right, we'll start with this one. Oh, look what I found. I love this. It's just a little lantern. They could be hung, but I will probably put it in my tear tray. I'm decorating for Halloween right now. This weekend, I am hosting a um, Hocus Pocus 2 party. So it comes out, I think, Saturday. But I'm working Saturday, so we're going to get a bunch of people together and we're going to watch it on Sunday. And I just thought this was super cute. And this is kind of the color scheme I go with, like the bright purple and neon pink. Definitely not spooky by any stretch. And then I'm picking up some treats for my niece and her friend. They're going on a road trip next weekend. So I got them some Halloween candies and I just wrote their name on the bag. And I bought them each a bag of this. It's Nerds Gummy Clusters. So it's like gummy fruit with nerds on the outside. I thought they would like that. And I also had picked them up some of the pumpkin spice Oreos and the candy corn popcorn. So far, we'll see what else I come up with before I see them. Well, till I give her these bags for their trip. So Sarah will, she'll be here this weekend, but she'll be dropping Luna off before they leave on her trip because I'm dog sitting. Um, and oh, and there'll be some footage of Sarah in the coffee festival because I went with her. Then I found some pens. I got this. This is a um, Z-Grip Flight from Zebra. These are nice pens. This is green ink, 1.2 millimeter bold this is for the giveaway that I'm getting ready to draw for, um, for my Pelotonia fundraiser. Fundraising is over. I made my way there and now I need to do the drawing and the colors of Pelotonia are green and I thought this would be a fun pen to put in with it. So I grabbed that for the giveaway. And then for me to try, I grabbed this pen. It is a journaling pen. Uh, Magna Tank Smooth Gel Ink Comfort Grip. Now, I will tell you that, oh, I love this so much. It's gold and black, or even almost like a copper, um, that I love. I'll show you the pens I use when I do my planner. Guys, this is like my life. These are friction. They're erasable. So when I'm working in my in my planner and if I need to change a date or something I can erase them so I love these for that there's also some regular pens but these are my planner pens and these are all the friction erasables but this pen I just thought was fantastic so it's nice and big which I love a fat pen it has a rubber grip on it and let's see how it writes not a hundred percent smooth but not terrible I mean, I like it. it. Has a little bit of a drag to it if you like a really smooth gel pen, but for a dollar, this is a great pen, especially because like I said, I love a fat pen. It just makes me feel bougie. So I'll, work. I'll use that. I take notes all the time. I'm always making lists. And then this is a journaling pen as well. This is a micro tip. It's supposed to be like the Micron pens, which I have around here somewhere, but they're very expensive. So if this is, ooh, I think I like that. Look at that tip. 
it's like a um like a felt tip oh here is the thing i love this pen and how it writes but it was it's going to break down that tip is kind of bendy which you can do hand lettering with, which is great. I just don't know how long it will be able to keep its shape, but for a dollar again, and it's a little thicker, which again, I like. So I will totally use these pens in my journaling. I'm trying to get myself under control here, guys. I won't open the green one because that's um, not mine. Okay, some other stuff I picked up, duh. I had to get this. This is an iron-on transfer. Oh. I don't know if you can see it. It's a crown and it says queen. And this is going to go on something in my life. Like a bag or something. I don't know. I may just take the pink out and just use the crown on a black t-shirt. I don't know. But it spoke to me. And I said, um, I need that. Uh, my store is putting out their Snugadoo socks. And these are... My choice for this year, I like these socks. They're very comfortable. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. When I work from home, they keep my feet warm and these just scream holidays to me. Fa la la. Red stripe, and they are a knee sock. I probably will not wear them like a knee sock, um, but I love these. And if you do like stocking stuffers, these are great. Or Christmas Eve boxes for family and friends. Like these are nice. They keep your feet toasty warm. And I like them. Now, the only ones I like better are the aloe vera ones. I picked up a couple of pill holders. I love these round ones. And I will show you why I love these round ones. And I'm having a hard time. I, They usually have three different colors, but this is all I could find. I haven't replaced them in some time. But I, I usually do four at a time, and I try to get three or four different colors. But what I like about these is the lids lift up, right? But this lid comes off separate. So what I do is I lay all my pill or I lay all four of them out, put all my vitamins, my medications and everything in here. And it's so easy to fill. And then I just put the top back on and it keeps them in there. I was pricing them on Amazon because I have not seen them at my Dollar Tree in some time. And I wanted a couple new ones to take on vacation because the newer ones do the lid stay shut longer. Come on, girl, get this together. Get your life together. There's a little groove in here that I have to line up. And when you get that center lined up and then it just snaps shut and this would do a good job. So I got two because I will be gone over longer than seven days not 14 but not seven so i need two for my luggage for all my medications and i rather just bring these than bring pill bottles now i have to bring my shots and stuff and for that i have to bring the prescription slip but for my regular meds i don't so i got that and then i bought these again this year but i bought these i am pretty certain these are food safe it says oh this is it's just talking about that but i'm pretty sure these are food safe because they're like ivy bags but i got them so i work the football games i'm gonna put my cream for my coffee in here because they do powdered cream at the stadium and then i can put this in my backpack in my lunch bag and just have it for my coffee i know i'm that extra but quite frankly they're for Four of them for a dollar twenty-five. I don't mind if I only get one use out of it for coffee. It's important that I have my cream, and so if I just use this one time and throw it away, it's, I'm not mad about that. But you can also put adult beverages in here. Um, if you're having like a Halloween party or condiments, you could fill it with like ketchup, mustard, stuff like that. I think there's a lot of fun things you can do. I don't know that I would give it to a child, well, unless they know not to squeeze, because it's it'll come squirting out of that hole, whatever it is that you put in there. But they had these before, I just don't have any left. And so I thought that is perfect. I have one more game, one more home game next weekend, I think. Yes, so I have a home game next weekend. 
and then we're off for well we have a bye week for one week so that means there's no game at all and then the weekend that i'm in london they are in on the road and then when i come home i have a day off and then i have a game that saturday and after this weekend i only have three more games to work and so four of those is plenty because it's going to start getting cold and so i want coffee while i'm working just kind of how i roll all right now the last bit of stuff that i have here is christmas and i believe this is all new or I guess I'll say it's new to my store because I know other stores got different stuff. But these are antlers. They're just little tiny deer antlers. Um, they're not attached. So they could be attached to something or just laid in something, you know, put out to lay around for decor. But this is like a copper or like a brown with gold glitter. This is a gold, they're all glittery of course. And then this is the white. So I grabbed one of each because I thought I could even mix these up and just stick them on a bowl, put them on a tear tray, put them on a counter with some other more rustic decor, or you can glue a couple to like picture frames or whatever. It's just fun Christmas stuff. I think you can probably see the white one better. They're all the same shape. So they are one, two, three, four, five, six point gear. I don't know how old that makes them, but whatevs. I don't really know much about deer. I don't hunt. Then I found these. And they are really everything in my life. I'm thinking these are going to make gift tags. They had them in the black and white plaid and in the red plaid. I love plaid. If you didn't know, I love plaid. And these have the little ears. And they're just glued on felt on the back. You want to watch. I saw some with a lot of glue and everything. But these are so stinking cute. So I got this one, like I said, and then I picked up the red. And I was thinking too, I could put like a label on here or just hang it off a present, put it on a tree, whatever you want to do. They also came back out with, now this one was a mess. There's glue everywhere. Um, but I like this, I might take this green off, but it just my the initial, I love the initials. And again, you can make this a to and from tag, hang it on a tree, put it in a tiered tray. This would totally stand up on its own. Um, it looks like they're going away from the red and black buffalo check on every single item and kind of gearing towards this plaid, which again, I'm not mad about. So I like that. And I think they might have had those last year, but I'm not 100% sure. I know I never saw these last year, which are the little bottle caps with this. And it, this one has the snowman and it's a sticker and then they put some just some fake green no bow thank you dollar tree um i like these they also had one with a little scene that has a reindeer on it but i just grabbed the one um again i thought these would be some fun gift toppers especially if you gift baskets these would be great gift toppers for that my tree is pretty full and then i have these two let's do a let's do a thumbnail I love this one. This is white, red, and black, which actually I could put a little block O in the middle and make that an Ohio State ornament, which would be genius, really. Or put a buckeye or do that and put a buckeye up here. But these are fake, fake wood. I mean, I think it's fake. I'm going to say it's fake wood. Looks like this wood edging is glued on and this is like a basswood or something, but who knows? It is wood, so that's nice. But I love, oh, my little fabric is lifting. I need to glue that off. But I love that these are little wood pieces covered in fabric. Like I said, this one is coming off, but I can just glue it back down. So we have a deer and this, and I think there was a third one, but I didn't get it. So that is everything I found at my Dollar Trees. Like I said, there hasn't been a whole lot of stuff. Um, new things. They're kind of in between seasons again. Sorry, my computer is awake and I need to put it back to sleep. Um, okay, now, is that everything? Yes. 
I went to the Columbus Coffee Festival. So Dollar Tree haul is over. If you're not interested in the coffee festival, I will see you next week and hope my Dollar Tree has some more stuff. Uh, the Columbus Coffee Festival is here in Columbus, Ohio. It was at the Historic Village, which is off of 71 near downtown, right next to the fairgrounds where they hold the state fair. Um, tickets go on sale months in advance. And this year, and I don't know if it's always like this, but this year they had, I think it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm pretty sure it was three days. If not, it was two, but I'm pretty sure it was three. And you could get... There was a variety of tickets. I think one was like an early bird, which you could get in at like seven or eight in the morning. One was from like 10 to two and one was from three to six. So maybe 10 to one or 11 to two and three, I think it was 11 to two and three to six. So we got a ticket for Sunday from three to six. I will tell you, Friday, Saturday sold out. Sunday morning sold out. We were able to get in Sunday evening, which was perfectly fine or afternoon. So on the grounds of the historic village in between all the buildings and all of that, they had all these vendors sampling local roasters coffee. So we got coffee, they, and then they had people selling stuff and inside of the old buildings, you could go inside and they had people serving samples and full cups of coffee. And, and then they had people selling like candles. So I grabbed a pumpkin spice coffee candle, but everything was kind of themed around coffee. So gifts, um, honey people were there so the gift stuff enough wasn't but there were bakeries selling pastries and samples and all that and it was so fun I had such a good time I cannot wait till next year to be able to go and do it again um they also had food trucks so I showed you a couple but there were probably 10 or 15 food trucks on the property and so what we did is we walked around we got some bunch of coffee and then we got hungry and we went to a food trucks each of us got what we wanted sat down on the picnic table and had like early dinner it was so nice it was a cool day but it wasn't freezing um I went with Sarah and her friend Lucy and Riley, who I've known forever. So we all of us met up there and we enjoyed a time. It was a great time. So I will show you the video here of what we did. And then at the end, I have some, I think I have some footage from my last Buckeye game. If you're interested, keep watching. If not, I will talk with you later. Have a great day. Bye. It's like my dream come true. A wall of coffee cups. Perfect. Say hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Who are your friends? These are the um, books that we did. Are you on a grave? yoga with. Oh, we're on a grave. Ow, ow, so uh, I'm pretty sure I've died and gone to my heaven. This is um, where we did goat yoga. Goat yoga. Oh. I think I've done one of them. She did goat yoga. I've got died and gone to my heaven. I am at the Columbus Coffee Festival. This is cinnamon bun coffee. I know. This is baby beignet. I think so. They have a creamer booth in case you need cream. And we're at the Ohio Village, which is a historical society. So they have throwback stuff to like the 1800s. And it's so awesome. Cookies and coffee, people. Cookies and coffee. So excited. I need more coffee. I'm heading in. At the coffee festival, there's also a food truck festival. And I got a Greek chicken salad bowl and coffee. Cause that's how I roll. Uh -huh.